Be kind, be beautiful. We can do it. I cannot and will not throw away all the gains we have made together and so the changes we are making are limited and cautious. It's thanks to the caution we've shown so far that all five tests are being met. And that's not my achievement or the government's achievement. It is your achievement. It's only possible thanks to your resolve and dedication uh, to our national purpose to overcome this virus. So the result is we can move forward with adjusting the lockdown in England on Monday. First, as I set out on Sunday, we will now... On Monday, we will start to put this right in a safe way by... Re Second, we will also start to reopen shops as we restart our economy. It will begin on Monday with outdoor retail. Social distancing is generally easier. And a fortnight later, on the 15th of June, we intend to reopen other non-essential retail, but only provided the five tests are still being met and shops have been made COVID secure. Lastly, I know the toll the lockdown has taken on families and friends who have been unable to see each other. So from Monday, we will allow up to six people to meet outside, provided those from different households continue strictly to observe social distancing rules by staying two metres apart. At the moment, as you know, people can meet in parks, but not in private gardens. And this was a cautious first step, but we know that there is no people will have questions as, how to do, uh, as to how to do all of this safely. And we will publish guidance on these changes 
to help people, to help you make the most of them. Now, I know inevitably that there may be some anomalies or apparent inconsistencies in these rules. And uh, clearly, what we're proposing is still just a fraction of the social interaction that each of us would normally enjoy. I know many of you will find this frustrating, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I'm afraid that is unavoidable, given the, given the nature of the invisible enemy that we are fighting. It's a complex problem, and we're asking for everyone's patience as we work through it together. We will inevitably not get everything right first time. But I must ask everyone to remember that it's the same patience, the same hard work and sacrifices of the British people in lockdown that have got us uh, so far and allowed us to make the progress uh, the progress that we have. By protecting the NHS, getting us through the peak and getting this virus under control, we are able to deliver all of the adjustments and easing of restrictions I have set out today. These adjustments are most of those we set out to achieve in step two of our roadmap, uh, of our roadmap and we've also been able to have them in place by June the 1st, as we had hoped. And there's no doubt that we're making progress, and I'm hopeful that in the coming weeks we may be able to do more. Because, obviously, while protecting the health and safety of the public is and must always be our number one priority, we must also work to restart our economy and society so as many people as possible can begin returning to their way of life. But I want to reaffirm that fundamental uh, commitment to the British people that all the steps we have taken and will take are conditional. They are conditional on all the data and all the scientific advice. And it is that scientific advice which will help us to judge what we are doing is safe. And I have to warn you. Uh
continue watching the videos that have been specially created for you at this time.